Hello there, this is a review for Thumbhole Stock from Jack Pike. I actually bought this one from South Yorkshire Shooting Supplies. You'll find the link in the description. It's a walnut stock, quite different from the one that comes with the gun. This is the one that comes with the gun. Still a nice stock. I've actually cracked the butt plate on there. But um, still quite a nice stock. Nice checkering. Just a nice shape. Good quality walnut stock. So that came with the gun. Now you can't actually buy these Anschutz 1517s with the walnut thumbhole stock now. But I think they're about 850 quid, which is none too cheap. So I bought my gun originally for, I think it was about 600 quid or something. And this stock was 250 quid. If you have an Anschutz 1517, I would definitely advise getting this stock. Nice padded butt plate there. Nice high cheek plate. So when you're actually looking through the scope, you just seem to drop on the middle of the scope perfectly. You can see the difference between these. This one, the new one, is much, much higher. And that makes a heck of a difference. I didn't realize what a difference it made until I tried the two side by side. With this old one, I was forever lifting my face up and I was practically resting my chin on top of the stock, which isn't ideal. With this, you, rest, you just rest your cheek perfectly on the plate there. The checkering on this is really really nice as well. Get a close up of that. Very well made. It's actually a right hand stock. I'm not too sure whether they do left handed ones. If they don't I would still advise getting one and just shoot cack handed. The one thing I will say is this bottom bit was very very tight to get in. The magazine release there had to lever it out with a screwdriver to be able to fit the action into the stock. Now that it's in, perfect fit, not rubbing. On the bolt, when the bolt goes back down, it's a little bit tight here, but it locks all the way down and with use, you won't even feel it rubbing. It'll just wear that tiny little bit of wood away. Next thing to do now is to get a big chunky silencer to make this a little bit quieter because whilst this is a very good silencer you can get ones that are better. Probably has got to get people to make them but you can get better ones. Overall for the cost 10 out of 10. For the build quality 10 out of 10 as well it's absolutely beautiful it feels really nice. When you put your hand through here and the thumb sticking through the other side your finger just seems to find the trigger perfectly it just lands in a perfect position which again until I got this I didn't realize that this the ordinary stock that came, came with the gun it just doesn't feel as right it just doesn't your finger just doesn't find that sweet spot on the trigger whereas with this it finds it absolutely perfectly your cheek finds the scope perfectly the checkering on the fore end is in just the right place and the checkering on the pistol grip feels really really nice so overall 10 out of 10 can't fault it get one Now the only thing this gun needs is possibly a bigger magazine. The one that comes with the gun is only a four shot magazine and if I'm on a hill end firing against the far bank side with masses and masses of rabbits 
I've got to constantly swap magazines between this one and my spare one. They're both four shots. Just need somebody to make maybe it's an eight or a ten, and then clear out whole bank sides a lot easier with no pauses.